Hey everybody, welcome back to Fastware. So today I have a treat for you. Uh, it's a Prime's drag racing. Um, I think it was started by Dave's Garage, a great channel. Um, so check it out. And the links to his videos and the repository will be in the description below so you can check it out. So the point here is um, compute how many primes there are in a uh, given number. So for instance, for um, all primes under 10, you can find four, then under 100, I think it's 25 or something like that. And you would just want to tell how many primes there are in, uh, in that number. And uh, Dave's implementation uh, is a sieve, uh, which is an awesome implementation. Um, and this repository was started to basically um, write faster and faster sieves. So it's great. Um, and one of my viewers um, goes by Camel Trader, I think, uh, recommended me to give it a go. He wanted to see how I would do it. So here it is. So let me just uh, start sharing my code here it is so we have some docker files whatnot but it's unimportant so what i did uh is basically took the solution free example because it does the most of the things that i wanted to do which basically um every odd number it checks if it uh can be prime by um eliminating uh, factors uh, and voila it, it actually um, does the uh, right job to, to, to does the good job to actually compute a number of primes uh, in a number but I looked at the problem and I thought to myself well that's a little weird and uh, we just doing and redoing and redoing this computation obviously it's not particularly great uh, to do that so I did what I would normally do um, looking at the problem is, wait, I have this number, which usually doesn't change, some large number, and I just want to find how many primes in it. So I decided to go for a table lookup um, solution here, which I thought was perfectly suited to this problem. So as I said, uh, I took the solution free. Um, the sieve.h uh, which is there and then i stripped it down to bare bones i um, changed a couple of bits by um updating the bitmap which um had to um actual values um of primes marking um i think zero marks uh, prime number and one marks non-prime numbers I just went and uh, eliminated all the non-prime numbers exactly as um, that example did and uh, followed through um, with marking all the even numbers as non-prime as well. Because what I wanted to do is prepare a UN64 where um, zeros uh, donate non-primes and ones actually designate primes. So here is that code. So I generate a header here uh, called prime.h, including csdd int, and then it's const expr of un64 uh, array primes. So what that does is um, if the value is zero in the mask, I put it to one. So just inverting, um, right? So again, primes are uh, marked with ones um, as a bit one, and then uh, non primes are marked with bit zero so i generate the table and uh, here is my docker file which basically um compiles the generator then it runs the generator to basically produce primes dot um uh, h file and then the fastware cpp actually consumes primes dot h so here is my um implementation of this particular algorithm. So this is just historical data, just make sure that uh, what I'm doing is correct because I run the test um, in order to validate that what I'm doing is right. Um, so what I do is um, I count, I have a loop, right? So um, how many inter in 64s um, I consume fully. So here uh, this loops uh, designate uh, how many 
uh, in 64s in that table I will be consuming fully. Uh, and uh, I just do a pop count. So pop count um, counts number of um, bits which are set to one in an integer. And uh, pop count L is just for uh, long unsigned. So that's all. And then what I need to do next is actually take the remainder. So because if you count for like a million um, or 10,000 um, uh, for that number, how many primes there is, it's not going to be a modulus of 64. So what uh, I do is just say, okay, um, if I have, for instance, 100, the mod will give me 36. So uh, given this, I produce a mask of uh, the first um, 36 bits uh, set to 1 and the rest is set, uh, set to 0. Then I take the last um, prime, which is not uh, um, last um, UN64 in that table, which we don't need to consume all of it, but partially. And I just produce a mask on top of it, um, saying that I only want these values. And then I do a pop count on top of that, right? And then I just sum the counts and return. My um, run uh, looks uh, pretty much uh, like the Dave's uh, run, which is basically just counts number of primes. Uh, the only difference is um, that I have to have the do not optimize uh, flag, which I stole from the Google benchmark, I think. Yes, it is Google benchmark. So I stole it um, because my code is written in such a way that the compiler would just optimize it away and do nothing instead. So it's basically a loop uh, like that for five seconds. So I didn't want to do that. So here I have a do not optimize. So again, it counts um, uh, how many uh, passes it has been for that required duration, um, right? And then returns number of passes and number of uh, and duration for that run. And then my multi-threaded example is just basically running async uh, this other run method with that duration number. So for the given thread count, and then the final result is produced by uh, summing all the passes and then uh, taking the maximum of all durations uh, of all the threads and then printing the results. That's all. So this is actually quite different from the solution three. If you will check it out that uh, in that Git repository, because in the solution three, the thread startup and join is counted as part of those five seconds, which is, I think, incorrect. Um, so let me know if I did it wrong, or do you think that that other example is uh, counting thread startup time and not the actual sit time? So yeah, so here I print the results. I have two runs, one for one thread and one for uh, all my threads, um, which is my in my example 32. And uh, when we run this, so I just modified um, the make file to run only CPP, um, examples only the solutions from cpp um, namespace i actually have that um, my performance is i think 82 times better than dave's and about three times better than than this uh, uh flow um guy who uh, did a great job with this uh, implementation on a uh, multi-threaded example i think it's um 32 times better than Flo's example and about 84 times better than Dave's example. So um, this is how I would approach solving this problem. Uh, again, uh, the I will submit this implementation to that repository so you can check it out as well how I did it. It involves two steps, um, having a generator which generates the primes, then produces a header with those primes and then you consume in your implementation for a lookup. So I hope that uh, you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something. And if you did, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.